Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a cascade delete on a resource in Express.js with a MongoDB database. So in this example, I'm using Colt Steele's Web Developer Bootcamp's Yelp Camp project. And basically, I have a campground created here. And I'm going to create some uh, comments on the campground. So I'll do one hello world. Now, if we go over to our database and open up the correct one and do a db.comments.find, you'll see the one I just created with hello world is right here. Now, if we delete this campground, we would expect any comments that are associated to it to also be deleted. So if we click delete, campground is gone. And now if we run db.comments.find, there is that comment. It's still there. So every time we delete a campground, we could have any number of comments that are being left in the database. So we need to do some type of garbage collection and get rid of those anytime the parent campground gets deleted. So what we'll do is we'll go look at the code and inside of routes for campgrounds down here in the destroy campground route is where we're going to deal with this so right now we're finding a campground by ID and removing it so we pass in rec.params that ID and then it deletes the campground from the database and we redirect if there's no error so in order for us to be able to delete the comment we need access to the comment model so if we go up to the top here, let's go ahead and require our comment. Okay, so now I have access to my comment. Um, if we go back down here, we can do a, let's see here. We can change this to a find by ID, and then there'll be error in the campground that we find. And with the campground that we have that we just found, we can do a comment dot remove, and then inside of the remove, we will do it by the ID, and then inside of another object, we will use the includes operator and point that towards the comments for the campground that we just found. So campground dot comments. So what's happening here is it's going to remove any comments from the comments collection in the database where the ID includes an ID from a comment in the campground.comments array. So if that works, then we'll do a function here with an error if there's an error. And we can check if there's an error and return next error if there is one. Up here, let's make sure we have access to next in case we need to do that. And then on the next line, we can actually take the campground and do a campground.remove. And then once the campground has been removed, we can take this code, move it up, and we'll just get rid of that. So basically what we're doing is removing the campground, and then as soon as it's done being removed, we can redirect back to campgrounds. So let's try this code out real quick and see if it works. So I'm going to go to Chrome to uh, add a new campground because I need to be the author of it. And I need an image. So I'll add a new campground, call it hello world, fake description, submit it. And we need to add a comment new comment one all right so it says it successfully added the comment and it's not showing it so that is another issue and I have a feeling it has something to do with um, the version of mongoose so let's first debug that issue we will take a look in our db.comments.find there it is, new comment. So if we do a db.campgrounds.find and then do a dot pretty, we can see all the campgrounds 
and we can see that this comment that we just created did not get added to the comments array for the hello world campground that we have right here let's go look at that code find out what's going on so if we go to package json we can see mongoose is using an older version so i'm going to go npm uninstall mongoose npm i s mongoose that'll get me a newer version so whenever it's done installing, unless I put a typo in there, yeah, it's still installing. All right, so it's given me the updated version of Mongoose. And now if we go look at camp comments, rather routes comments, go to the post route, we can see the comment is being pushed. So if everything here is working with the new version of Mongoose, then we should get that comment in the database. So first, I'm going to do a db.comments.remove just get rid of everything that's in there and we can maintain that campground so we'll refresh gotta restart my server of course no daemon to get the server up and running and if we refresh 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 here it is to add a comment it's gonna want us to log in so I'll log in real quick and let's try it again There it is. So it was indeed a mongoose issue. Hey, if you're enjoying my video and you like my teaching style, then head on over to devsprout.io where I have a new course coming out right now, Code with Node, Learn by Doing, where you can get instant access to the course while it's being released for half off. See the description below for a coupon. Thanks a lot, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. All right, so back on track with the uh, task at hand of deleting the campground and then also having the cascade delete of any comments that belong to the campground let's try it out so if we delete this campground it did delete it and it redirected us here we didn't get a flash message so we can uh, refactor our code to have that let's go take a look at the database so if we do in the wrong place here a db.campgrounds.find uh, pretty we can see that canyon floor is the last one right there so it doesn't have the campground that was deleted that's expected but more importantly db.comments.find.pretty and it's not giving us anything so there's no comment we had created one it was associated to that campground we deleted the campground and in turn it deleted the comment that was associated to it so that's working but we can definitely clean up our code so let's go back and look at it so Scrolling down, not in this one, over here, routes, campgrounds.js. Scrolling down to the bottom, back in that router.delete. After we delete the campground, we can do a, let's see here, rec.flash success. And then as the message, we can say something like campground deleted successfully. And that will let us know that the campground has been deleted. And that's fine. But we actually want to pull this logic out of the route and put it into the model. In reality, we want to pull it out of the route and put it into a controller and a method, and then also pull some of that and put it into the model. But uh, that's for a later video. So what we'll do right now is we'll pull this logic right here out of the route and we'll put it into the model. So let's head over to the models, campground.js. We need access to the comment model. So we'll do var comment is equal to require. And then we'll do, let's see here, where is it? Dot slash comment. So now that we have the comment inside of campground.js, now what we can do is we can add a, um, what they call like a pre function to the campground schema. And I don't know if they call it a pre function or not. It's called a pre something. So we'll do a campground schema dot pre, and then this is going to be pre remove. So basically, this is going to get invoked before a dot remove gets run, and then so we pass it a function that has one argument of next. That way, we can move on to the next uh, function in the middleware chain, and this is where we're going to actually delete the uh, comments. So we have access to comment. Let's go back to campgrounds.js real quick in our routes and just pull this code out since we already have it written out and back in campground.js the singular version inside the models directory here we can just plug it in so it's comment.remove 
and then we're removing by the ID, including campground.comments. Well, in the model, we don't have access to campground, but we do have access to this. And so this is the campground that had dot remove called on it. So this dot comments, that should work as expected. And if we're using the newest version of node, then we have access to async await. So there's no reason for us to do any type of callback stuff. So if this right here is an entire uh, method call to dot remove, then we can just await that. And when it's done, then we can go to next. Now there is a potential for errors, so we wanna handle that. So the simplest way for right now is to do a try catch, where the catch catches the error. And of course, if there is one, then we'll just invoke next error. And we'll take this await comment remove code and put it up in the try. So basically, if you haven't seen uh, async await or try catch or anything like that with promises, we're just trying this right here. Comment.remove returns a promise. We're awaiting the promise to be resolved. And then once it's done, then we're going to invoke next, which will continue on with the removal of the campground. Whereas if we catch an error in any part of that process, then we will invoke next error, which will be handled by our Express.js error handling. So the only thing missing here is this function, because it has the async await inside of it, needs to be an async function. So we just put the async keyword before it, and now we can save it. So with this here inside the model, now we can change what's inside the route. So back in routes campgrounds.js, basically at this point, we just need to remove the uh, campground. So we can try it with campground.findbyid and remove, which is a mongoose method. I don't know if it's gonna work that way. Let's go ahead and test it. If it doesn't, we can swing back and just do a find by ID and then take the campground that gets found and do a dot remove manually. So I'm going to remove all this code right here and all we're left with, I gotta get rid of that too. So all we're left with is a campground.find by ID and then function error campground. Of course, if there's an error, then you know you can you can deal with it in some way and let's see here in fact I don't need these uh, otherwise if there is no error then we're going to flash that it's success and we're going to redirect so this is going to flash that it's successful anyway so instead of console logging we can invoke next and we could like return next error and that would not run this code right here. It would just continue on down the middleware chain, be handled by the error handler. We don't have one, I'll do it in a later lecture. Okay, so try to fix the formatting a little bit. That should work. So this would be fine by ID and remove. We find by the ID and we remove it. There is no campground returned here. We're just gonna deal with the error if there is one. And then we redirect to campgrounds if it works. So I don't know if this is going to invoke this pre-remove method. We'll see if it does. If it doesn't, then I'll show you the other way to handle it. So I'm gonna save everything, head back over here, where we're gonna add a new campground after we log in, of course. Add a new campground, borrow a little image URL, foxy fox, fake place. Go over here, add a new comment. And there's the comment, there's the campground. If we delete the campground, it's deleted. There's our uh, successful error, well, flash message, not error message. And if we go back to Mongo and we do a db.comments.find.pretty, uh-oh, the comment's still there, right? So it didn't work. And I'll tell you why. So first I'm going to remove all comments just to clean up our comments collection. And the reason it didn't work is because find by ID and remove is not directly calling dot remove. It's, it's set up a little bit differently. So what we need to do is manually call dot remove on the campground. So what we'll do is remove this and remove. We'll find the campground by ID. If there's an error, we'll return the next error. Otherwise we have access to the campground. Well, we do if we pass it in as the second argument to this error first callback. Now we have this campground, we can deal with it right here. So I'll give ourselves a little bit of space. Campground.remove, when a call 
dot remove on the campground then before it gets removed over here in our model this code will run and as long as it works next will be called and then it'll come back over here and continue so we'll do campground.remove and then we'll flash success and we'll redirect back to campgrounds so let's save that and we'll head back over here of course it's going to want me to log back in no problem and here's the little fox that I'm using and a little description action alright so over here we have the new fox good add a new comment Hello. submit there's our comment here's our campground if we delete it there's our successfully deleted flash message so if we go back over here db.campgrounds.find.pretty and the dot find needs the parens so the last one's canyon floor no more foxy fox fine now moment of truth db.comments.find dot pretty nothing there it did get deleted so a couple things let's just review before we go we refactored our destroy campground route and we basically did a find by ID found that campground and then did a campground.remove as opposed to a find by ID and remove which is a mongoose method here we're just using the mongodb method mongoose can use all of mongodb's methods they're backwards compatible or whatever you want to call it and so over here in the uh, mongoose model this model file where we have our schema set up we take the schema for the campground and we add a pre method on it and so what this does it's called a pre hook now I just remembered it so it's a pre remove hook whatever you want to call it right when we call dot remove this code gets run and then depending on whether or not there's an error with this code we either push through the error to the error handling which like I said we don't have we're not worried about though or we just push it through to whatever is happening back before this was called so at this point we're using async await there's that async function we're awaiting comment dot remove we're looking through comments matching IDs with any of the IDs that are included in this dot comments this is the campground that had dot remove called on it so it has a dot comments array it's going through all those comments and it's matching any comments uh, from there in the database and deleting them from the database altogether so then when that's done we click or we invoke next and that takes us back over here at which point we do a little success and that's a flash message and then we redirect back to campgrounds no more campground no more comments everything's clean uh, yeah a lot of this code can be refactored not exactly what this video is about but specifically in this one we're focusing on uh, cleaning up comments that belong to a campground or any resource that belongs to another resource when the parent resource is deleted and we want to cascade delete all the uh, child resources okay that's it for this video thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one